Breaking right now, a manhunt still underway after five teens escaped from the Bridge City Center for Youth, which is the jail for juvenile offenders on the West Bank. Well, four of those teens were captured, but one is still on the run right now. So you may remember back in November, three teens escaped from the same facility. Tonight, neighbors say they are terrified. WDSC's Aubrey Killian has been on top of the story all day, uncovering new details for us. Aubrey is live outside the jail with very new information. Aubrey, what can you tell us? Well, guys, we have a lot of new information. I want to show you what's happening right now behind me in the past minute or so. We've actually seen quite a few uh, law enforcement members and vehicles pulling up, but take a close look at your screen right now if you can. Again, a lot of new details. We are told the four teens were found in Opelousas after investigators say they stole a truck and flipped it. Two other adults were also arrested. They are still looking for the fifth teen on your screen right now. This is 16 year old Curtis Tossin. Investigators say he has a history of violence and should be considered armed and dangerous. Neighbors out here say they are scared for their lives tonight. I'm tired of it. Irish Jackson lives behind the Bridge City Center for Youth. Kids escaping. It is a constant fear. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five. So it's scary. Malcolm Dumas is a Vietnam veteran living with PTSD. He says the fear of kids breaking free from this facility, it is always on his mind. He broke out that thing so many times and nobody doing nothing about it. You call that a fence? Look at that thing. Bill Summers, the head of the juvenile justice for the state, says the teens escaped partly because of human error from one of the employees. We have to do our jobs. I mean, that's what we need to do. We need to do our jobs and we need to do it well. And right now, Sometimes I don't think we do it that well. He says the facility is dealing with a critical staffing shortage. Some around 4 a.m. Um, that, that, that they, that they uh, left the dorm um, and uh, really they, they, uh, they got into the ceiling. Um, from the ceiling they got into the attic and, and they, they got put a hole on the, in the attic uh, to escape the, the dorm setting. From what we saw, um, it looked like they, they hung you know, um, kind of hung, you know, from from the, the hole they put they put in down onto a ledge and from the ledge that they got onto the ground. In our system, the juvenile justice system around the state, you have murderers, you have rapists, you have uh, all kinds of crimes. Senator Patrick Connick was at the facility are, today and says the conditions here are not adequate. These dorms have attics where the, the kids, in this case, they broke through, were able to bust through a wall that's not uh, cement. It was it was fiberboard type of uh, material and they got out. And Jackson says it is only a matter of time before it happens again. These people are scared to leave, leave their home. They're scared. They're scared. We got to watch out for one another back here. It's not fair. So again, take a close look at your screen if you can. This is the fifth Teen that investigators are looking for right now. They say he is considered armed and dangerous. Investigators also say they're offering a $2,500 reward for any information that can lead to his arrest. Reporting live, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News.